when Jesus Christ was with his disciples, he asked the question, who do men say that I am? Who do men say Jesus Christ is? And some of them said, you are this prophet. Some of them said, you are that other person. Some of them said one thing. Some of them said another thing. Basically, every person that encountered Jesus Christ had a different perception and opinion about him. But then Peter makes this statement. Peter says, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, you are blessed, Peter, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but it was my Father in heaven who gave you this revelation. And I say that on this revelation, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So, first of all, Jesus said, Flesh and blood did not give you this information. So it wasn't a teacher, it wasn't a preacher, it wasn't a prophet or a lecturer or uh, some learned human being who passed this knowledge to Peter. No. So flesh and blood didn't give this to Peter. So had no human being has instructed Peter into who Jesus Christ is. Because in the same way, I can tell you who Jesus Christ is, but Unless the Father in heaven reveals it in you, unless the Holy Spirit makes Jesus Christ alive in you, places Jesus Christ in you, this will simply remain head knowledge. Jesus went on and said, Blessed are you, for it is the Father in heaven that revealed this to you. So it was the Almighty God who placed this knowledge in Peter. So Peter was revealed that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And then Jesus goes on and saying, on, on this revelation, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Now that word church in the Greek language, it has two meanings. It means gathering, gathering of people. So he's not talking about a religious denomination. He's talking about a group of people. And the other and the other more beautiful meaning of the word is that church simply means those who belong to me. So what Jesus Christ is saying, he's saying this, on this revelation that I am the son of the living God, I will build up those who belong to me and the gates of hell will not prevail against them. So if Jesus Christ is your Messiah, if Jesus Christ is your Lord, is he, if he is dwelling, living in you, then he will build you up. He will build you up because you belong to him. So on this revelation, I will build up those who belong to me and the gates of hell will not be able to prevail against them. So when Jesus Christ builds you up from the inside, because you belong to him, no demonic force will be able to stand against you. The world, the, the vials of the evil one, they will come against you, the storms will batter against you, but they will not prevail because greater is he that is in you, greater is the Christ, the spirit of Jesus Christ in you, than the, the spirit and the spirits that, that are in the world. So, knowing in your innermost being that Jesus is the Christ, he will build you up and pay attention to the words. You don't build yourself up. He will build you up. He is the one that gives you the new birth. He is the one that gives you a new heart. He is the one that gives you a new spirit. He is the one that will build you up. He is the one that will deliver you from all evil. And he is the one that will grow himself. Jesus Christ will grow himself in you. And he will build you up. And the gates of hell, no demon, 
no worldly attack will stand against you. So I ask the Father that he will give you this revelation in the innermost being that Jesus is the Christ. Surrender yourself to Jesus Christ because he will build you up, because you will belong to him.